The July 6th meeting of the Board of Public Works and Safety roll call. Here. Here. Are there any conflict of interest statements? No. no. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of June 29th. Anybody get a chance to review those? No, I recommend we defer the reading of the minutes. A second. Motion to defer and a second. Uh, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against, motion passes. I'd like to recognize Councilwoman Janet Venez in the audience. Our first item is item A, a bid opening the 165th Street pavement reconstruction resurface project from Summer to Kennedy. It looks like we have three bids. The first bid is from Walsh and Kelly Incorporated, 1700 East Main Street, Griffith, Indiana. Have their bid bond. They have their non-inclusion affidavit signed, and they have their form. Oh, they changed the name of the form. It's form 52414, but it says, yeah, revised form, form 96. Yeah. And their bid is $1,245,313.40. The next bid is from Reith Riley Construction Company Incorporated, 7500 West 5th Avenue, Gary, Indiana. Their bid bond. They have their form 96. And they have their non inclusion affidavit signed. And their bid is $1,220,775.25. The final bid is from Dyer Construction Company Incorporated, 1716 Sheffield Avenue, Dyer, Indiana. Inclusion affidavit signed. They have their form 96. And they have their bid bond. And their bid is $1,446,000. That completes the three bids. Uh, do I have a motion to refer these to uh, to the consultant engineer for tabulation and recommendation? Second. Second. Motion a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Let me shut this thing off. Item B, correspondence received from the police department giving permission to hold block parties for Road Street and Logan Street submitted for approval. We need to move these over. Okay. Okay, 
Motion to approve the, the chief's request. Second. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item C, correspondence received from Councilman Pete Torres requesting $945 to finalize a brick repair done on Holman Avenue for additional work required submitted for approval. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Item D, rental registration hearing on property located at 1127 Morris Street. Deborah Brown. And we have Ms. Brown as the owner of 1127 Morris. Um, we have this, uh, her water we have is only in here since 2014. Uh, this house has never been registered. Um, so 2014, 15, 16, and 17. One unit. Ms. Brown, did you have a tenant in there all those years? Yes, but. Um, I never knew I had to register it. And I wouldn't have known unless the inspector had it came because they had their license stuff cut off. And the inspector came uh, so they could reconnect it. And then that's when he told them uh, that the house needed to be registered. I had no idea. They've only been there uh, for three years because I've been, well, I have my leases uh, 15 because I've been in Arizona for three years and that's why I moved to help my daughter. So they, you know, I'm, I've been there three years and I was in the house previous to that. I guess my point is you, you try to make contact with the landlord any way you can because the property is unregistered. You may be someone that you heard about this information So do we have a, a renter for the year of 2014? issues with this property? Okay. All right, we'll make a motion to waive the late fee. The unit must be registered for the years of 2014, 15, 16, and 17 for a total of $95. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, if you'd like to stay after the meeting, you can take care of that today. Okay. Item E, <laughs> rental registration hearing for property located at 940 Chicago Street. Okay, we're revisiting this one. This one was the weird one, uh, 940 Michigan, two houses um, on our site and as well as the assessors, it has it only as 940 and 940 rear. Uh, the actual house does have an address of 938 proper. You said Michigan. We have Chicago. Are we on the same one? Oh, it's Michigan? Uh, you said Michigan. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Just want to make sure we're on the same property. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's 940 Chicago. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, 940 front uh, has been registered uh, every year. We had the question as 938 or 940 rear, and it's never being registered up until this year. Um, upon talking to this gentleman and uh, him showing me uh, paperwork, we did some digging, and the owner of the house. Uh, Chloe McGee uh, had her daughter living in the rear unit until this past year. So that is the reason it was never registered. Okay. I did explain to him that, you know, we also didn't have an affidavit. She didn't know that she was supposed to have an affidavit if she had family living in the rear apartment. Um, I guess 
Ultimately, we can dismiss it. Uh, both units are registered for 17. Okay. Um, we do have tenants in both. Um, so. Okay, motion to dismiss. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Item F, rental registration hearing for property located at 4759 Catalpa. Angela Fuller. Sarp. I think we're also revisiting this as well. We had this a couple weeks ago, and Ms. Sarp uh, came downstairs after the fact. You said that you went to Lake County Building, right? Sorry. Yes, sir. Yeah. So she was late for the for the meeting, and we, uh, we gave her the $500 fine for being late. She did come in thinking that this meeting was going to be at the Lake County. Okay. And, uh, so what are we here for? Uh, one, one unit? unit, but those for 17. Okay, I'll make a motion to waive the late fee. The unit must be registered for $5 for the year of 2017. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Item G, correspondence received from City Engineer Dean Button requesting street closure for St. John the Baptist Church on Sunday, August 20th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Lincoln Avenue from 119th to Reese for their back to school picnic. Dean, has this already gone, gone to the uh, street department PD? It has not. Okay. Make a motion to approve, uh, subject to review and approval by the street and police departments. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Item H, correspondence received from Apostolic House of Prayer requesting to block off Blaine Street from Highland to Harrison for Saturday, July 15th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. for an outside event. Um, I would ask. Uh, the way it's written, Blaine Street from Highland to Harrison, Blaine and Highland are, uh, or Harrison are parallel streets. Going north and south. So she wants to block off Blaine from Highland to something other than Harrison, the way I understand it from looking at the map. What's the date? The oh, for next Saturday. Yeah. So do we need a little clarification? I think want to assume what street it is because she could go either way, north or south, to, to block it off. Okay. So can we defer this till um, next week? Well, we're not having that. Can you, we would have to approve it uh, certainly by next week, yeah. We're not meeting yeah. Yeah. Okay, you want to make a motion? Right. Uh, I make a motion to defer until um, for one week. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Item I, correspondence received from First Baptist Church of Hammond requesting to block off State Street from the Homan Avenue Bridge to east of the Hammond Public Library, Oakley Street from Willow Court to Sibley on Monday, July 17th, starting at 8 a.m. through the evening of Thursday, July 21st to hold their annual youth conference. interfere with fest that's an annual event is it always those dates um i think close to those dates are there any problems with that with fest rec fest rec i don't know you don't the think state so? street doesn't, state doesn't really go through anyway okay no no i don't have an issue with that i looked at it Make a motion to approve subject to review and approval by the street and police departments. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Item J, request for rental registration hearings. Motion to set for hearing on August 3rd. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. Item K, disposal authorization submitted for approval. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those against? Motion passes. 
Item L, broad sale permit submitted for approval. There's another one. Motion to approve the garage sale permit. Second. Motion and second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Item M. Request for advertising dates of July 13th, July 20th, with a bid opening date of August 3rd for the Hammond Lighting Project, 173rd place from US 41 to Tapper, 170th place from Tapper to Columbia, Jefferson Avenue from Locust to 165th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Item six matters from other board members. I've got one matter. We have a request from Councilman of the 5th District requesting $25,000 be allocated from gaming funds to be used for park department improvements. Do I have a motion approving that? Yeah, it's already been signed by the mayor. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against? Motion passes. Any other matters from other board members? No. no. Matters from department heads or their representatives? Yes. I have uh, one matter here. This is a, uh, a property address at 15 Carroll. Um, in 2009, there was a findings and orders filed uh, for the and approved to uh, remove an illegal basement apartment. Subsequently, the property is going through a sale and the new purchasers had agreed to uh, take care of all the issues outlined. They've hired contractors to perform that work. Um, the basement apartment has been confirmed, removed, and the uh, unsafe garage demolished. So uh, I would just ask that the board affirm uh, this order to rescind the order to demolish from uh, 2009 so they can go and have a clear uh, title for the sale. Everything has been inspected and confirmed to, uh, to comply. They have a, a, a warranty deed in place now. Uh, they would like to finalize it with all the um, you know, work that it was required by the city. And uh, so I would just ask that the board uh, approve the rescind order. Okay. Motion to approve the order to rescind the order to demolish on 15 Carroll Street. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Those against, motion passes. Item seven, matters from other department heads. Anybody else? Any new business? Any old business? Meetings open to the public. Is there anyone in the audience who'd like to step up to the microphone? Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.